It is not surprising that you'd wish to avenge the shooting of young Michael to make the denizens of darkness who heard him pay. I heard him. Uh, that is most untrue. He, you have been young Michael's most devoted protector. The choices I made for Michael affected everything in his life. He was never safe. I put him in that bed and he may never wake up again. After our last visit, Johnny had me picked up to have a little discussion. I get the feeling that your son doesn't want you to lose among respectable folks. Sounds more like Claudia. She's always been bitter and spiteful. She never forgave me for divorcing her mother. Well, sounds like John has his own axe to grind. Claudia's lying to Johnny about how things were, putting poison in his ears to keep me locked up in this joint. Yes, well, the point is that I am taking substantial risk if I continue to facilitate your release, Mr. Zakara. Oh, and how much is this substantial risk going to cost me? How much is it worth to you? I'm getting better every day. When I'm free and in charge of the Zakara family again, you can name your price. I knew we'd understand each other. Oh, I'd be a hell of a lot more understanding when I get out of here. Don't worry about it. Setting up a hearing right now. You'll have a court date. Um, but do me a favor and don't discuss any of this with your family. Deal. You agreed you were not going to turn yourself into Sonny for Michael's shooting. Even though we're both responsible. I planned the whole thing. It was my idea. That makes What did you do? You went along for the ride, John. So I'm guilty too, then. But the whole point was to keep you safe. That's why I took the hit out on Sonny in the first place. Okay, taking the blame and getting both of ourselves killed isn't going to accomplish anything. But sitting around and waiting isn't going to work either because Sonny's going to come after us. So I'm going to go to him and tell him that we had nothing to do with it way too dangerous right now. Well, it's exactly what we would do if we were innocent. I'll even invite him to interrogate any member of our crew if he wants. Assuming what you said is right and this third party can't be traced back to us, we'll be fine. There's no link between us and the shooter. Well, let's hope not. Things could get ugly. Dr. Devlin, are you absolutely certain that you left no trace that ties you to Michael's shooting? My, my, my. Getting jumpy, are we? It's a simple question. I already told you there's no evidence whatsoever. Just as I told you, I'm the last person Sonny or Jason would suspect. And, and if you're still thinking about killing me to cover your tracks, my death would only raise questions you won't be able to answer. If you want to protect yourself, protect me. If I look blameless, so do you. Well, that still leaves Claudia. Who's highly motivated to keep her mouth shut. Oh, she's far from being discreet. Oh, she'll keep quiet to protect her brother. Because if Sonny finds out she was responsible for putting his child in a coma, he won't stop till Claudia and John are both dead. Did you find anything? Uh, the Jackal's hacked into the surveillance cameras in the warehouse environs, but is... He has to turn up anything of consequence. Keep looking. With all due respect, you are still reeling from the shock of young Michael's most severe injury. Are, are you certain that you're ready to resume work? Work? Michael is in a coma. And whoever did this is walking around free and they need to pay. Most inopportune time for a visit. We we need to talk about who shot Michael. John's planning to go to Sonny and tell him we had nothing to do with the shooting. I want you to make sure that my brother leaves that meeting alive. Sonny does what he wants. Johnny did not do this. He did not send that shooter. 
he agreed to a truce to keep things like this from happening. Sonny locked up Johnny. Maybe Johnny wanted revenge. No, look, John knows. We both do. A war costs more than it solves. Someone else did this. Some third party wanted to take advantage of the tension between our two families. And you know what? If all hell breaks loose, Jason, they're going to sit back and watch us destroy each other. And then they're going to walk in and take what's left. And if you let that happen, you're rewarding the person who shot Michael. First of all, Sonny's not going to act without proof. But once we get it, we're going to go after the shooter. And there's nothing on this earth that is going to stop us. that you've never even dreamed of. So why don't we start with a few tricks I learned in the back room of this delightful chateau near Monaco. We are still talking about gambling, aren't we? Oh, the starters. Well Scott Rocks, please. Rick. Oh. How are you? Well, if you'd have asked me that a week ago, I probably would have said uh, terrible. The things are looking up this week, okay? Thanks. How's Mariana? Source of Oh, No, don't be. She seemed to look on it as a uh, learning experience. Are you thinking about taking on Barry's DA again? No, I'm looking to get into business for myself, Bruce. You learn all that in the chateau? Yes, yeah, for the beauty and amphetamine. In the back room? Oh, for starters. You're falling. Oh, no. Kid, it's a bet. Five dollars. That's all the chance you're willing to take on me? Say the word and I'll give you anything you want. I don't know if I might get lucky. I'll stick with the five dollars. Until she got to know you? Not until her husband came home. Go ahead. Take a chance, darling. Don't get your hopes up. You won't lose. I've told you all my best secrets, I'm sure. Somehow I'm not reassured. Take your hand off my... Okay. Tell me again what people enjoy about this. Cheating chance. Defying odds. Winning a fortune. It's a spin of a wheel or a turn of a card. Well, when you put it that way. Or you can lose everything and wind up penniless and miserable. <laughs> You're enjoying this, aren't you? And I haven't placed a single bet. Hmm. It's just overwhelming. So many numbers. Red, black, even odd. Uh, uh... Uh, I'm seeing red at the moment. That's on hill. Good enough for me. For someone? I was supposed to meet Nicholas at the launch from Windermere, but either I'm late or he was early and he left without me. My cell phone battery is dead. I could take you. Tag, you're it. What does that mean? I guess it's your turn to be sending mixed signals. <laughs> is that what I'm doing? Well, you're the one who pushed me away. And you're the one who told me that I would know where to find you. Guess what? Found you. Should we get going? Well, well, well. Hmm. Looks like we're all headed to the same spot. Oh. Mr. Carr, you look ravishing. I like your choice of words, Spencer. Can it be you don't have a date? I decided to go solo. It's good to keep one's options open. Don't you think? 
<laughs> hey, heart patient with a bum leg. So long as you remember. I think I'll go say hello to my daughter. Mm. Shall I keep your chips warm? Keep your hands off my chips. Thanks for the tip on red. Do you always have this type of intuition at gambling? <laughs> Well, let's just say I'm, uh, I'm luckier at the tables than I even love. I can emphasize. Really? They seem like a very bright girl. I'm sure you can find a way to change your eyes. Any pointers? Me? Absolutely not. Experience has taught me nothing. Did she happen to be one of your past experiences? No. I just have some dealings with her father. Place your bets. Dr. Devon's here. Seems to be in high spirits. I like that. Yeah. Probably well, assured me that there's no way to trace him back to that. You know what? He also assured me that if he got caught, he'd give you both of us up. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. That concludes every piece of video footage that I jackaled from the bank, the convenience store, and the diner Is across the street from the warehouse. Anything that we missed. Well, there, there is one last possibility. I accessed some footage from the outskirts of the warehouse district. Where is this? It's the lobby of the new business tower. It's a camera, security camera angled out into the street facing east. Right there, that car, that car driving by. Did you see something in the back window? Back it up. Freeze it right there. Okay. What, what, is, what is that right there? Um, Dr. ID tags, you know, to get into this special lot at the hospital. It's kind of weird. And what would a doctor be doing near the waterfront at that time of night?